By the way, we don't necessarily have enough masks. So within those guidelines as well, they say bandanas and scarves could potentially be considered to be used as well. So we need to start making accommodations for what we think is going to be necessary. With a shortage of masks all around the world, what materials would be acceptable for you to make your very own DIY mask? Well, based on a study done by Cambridge University, I am here to show you what materials worked the best. Also, if you want to see those studies, I'll put them in the description down below. Now, it's said that any mask was better than no mask. No matter what the material was used for, it was better than nothing. All of these items can easily be found at your local Walmart or Target. They're affordable, and most importantly, you probably already have some of these laying around your house. Now, the study shows other materials being used, but out of the 10, these four materials were the best at filtering out microbes. So the items featured in the study was a cotton blend t-shirt, a dish towel, a pillowcase, and oddly enough a vacuum cleaner bag. So starting at the bottom of the four we have the pillowcase then followed by a cotton blend t-shirt in third surprisingly the dish towel at second and shockingly at first place was the vacuum cleaner bag of all things. So to measure the effectiveness of each individual mass they tested it against a virus at 0.02 microns and a bacteria at 1 micron. So in last place of course we had the pillowcase at 62% followed by the cotton blend t-shirt at 74%, then the dish towel at 83%, and finally, surprisingly, the vacuum cleaner bag, which came at a whopping 95%. 95% effectiveness. The vacuum cleaner bag. And remember, the test was conducted against the one micron bacteria. So the virus that we have right now is 0.1 microns. So the test that they will be using it against is 0.02 microns. So starting from the bottom, we have the pillowcase at 57%, the cotton blend t-shirt at 70%, the dish tower at 73%, and again, surprisingly, the vacuum cleaner bag at 86%. 86%, 0.02 microns. Like seriously, what the hell is in that thing. Another item just for fun, we'll just add the scarf. I personally don't have the scarf considering that I live in Hawaii. For one micron, the scarf did 62% and for 0.02 microns, of course the scarf did the worst at 49%. So the thing that they were recommending, the scarf, was at the bottom of the list unfortunately. But you're probably thinking, I have more than one shirt, maybe more is better. Well to an extent that would be true, but unfortunately it's not that much better than what you already have with just the one layer. The pillowcase was at the worst at 62% and that was with two pillowcases, two cotton t-shirts which was 71 so that's not the cotton blend surprisingly two layer dish towels coming in at a whopping 97 percent so in the end the best results came from the dish towel and the vacuum cleaner bag surprising right but there's a catch here for the vacuum cleaner bag unfortunately is not safe to breathe which begs the question, why DIY a mask instead of purchasing one already? Well, there's two reasons. The first reason would be that there's a mask shortage. And the second reason, we want to save the masks for those who are already sick, for those who are immunocompromised, and finally those who are medical professionals so that they don't get sick in the line of work. But if you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so that you know when I'm posting next. And most importantly, stay safe out there.